Good to see you. Hey there, Revenants. Welcome back to Code Vein. Today we're looking at the Thirsting Slaughterer. I had to look at my notes here to remember his name because he's just a big white guy that I hate. Um, and and uh, that's kind of how uh, I refer to him all the time when I see this dude. He's an absolutely, absolutely monster of a monster. How about that? He's a, an incredible enemy that you come across in the Crown of Sand, and basically that's the only place that you find him. He's uh, very, 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 very powerful. He comes in one variety, and it is with a greatsword, and that's it. He is a super, super dude. Uh, he's pumped up in all kinds of ways, but he does have one weakness and one flaw that we will exploit to no end. So this guy, we're going to just kind of talk through him because I don't really enjoy f fighting him because I'll show you why here in a second. But uh, we're just going to kind of talk through, we're going to do an example, and then we're just going to kind of move on. So, uh, And we're bringing EO along just for fun. And so this guy, he has some familiar resistances as the um, uh, Dust Cloud Bandit shares his weakness pool. So he has a slash resist of 0%. So that's very nice. You can go for slash weapons, uh, like all the one-handed swords, basically. Uh, he has a 10% weakness to crush, which is really, really great for the Argent Wolf Blade here that we have along with us. Very, very good. Goodbye, Eel. Uh, he has a 25% pierce resist. He has a 20% blood resist. He has a 10% ice weakness, so a minus 10% to ice. He has a 40% fire weakness, uh, fire strength, 40% resistance to fire, and a 40% resistance to lightning. His uh, status effects go in order of inhibit is the strongest thing against him, which will get rid of his uh, lightning balls that he shoots out of his mouth and his uh, thunderbolt impact that he does. He is uh, then it goes stun, then slow, then venom. He has 16,633 hit points. He's here in this area and he's also in the crown of sand. He's in the tower of trials as well, where his health is increased there and he does have one major 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 flaw he does lightning attacks only so if you have above 180 lightning defense then you will be completely invincible to his attacks so we'll zoom in here we'll attack the little uh, uh the little people here um and then we will be on our way so we'll do this we'll do this and we will be up over 180 202 so we are free to run in here and we are yep he's doing his lightning attacks and you see there we're getting hit by his sword no damage and getting hit by the fireballs is killing us his uh thunderbolt impact is killing us okay and this thing oh there's the lightning balls again no damage yet again so as you can see uh is very 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 nice to go for all kinds of defenses there for lightning in order to uh, get rid of his abilities. And so we can sit here underneath him basically and we'll take this in the face. No damage, so how nice. And he, he's gonna chomp around. He has several attacks. We'll kind of watch him through his attack pool here. Let's go for some Ico recovery here since we're sitting in the dirt. So he has a couple of overhead slams. He has this attack, which he does all the time, where he swirls around in a circle. He has the lightning thunderbolt impact there. And then he has the thunderbolt balls, the lightning balls that he does as well. As you see there, we are not uh, invincible because we didn't have elemental wall. He has the, the spin around and he has several overhead attacks. So he's pretty slow, pretty cumbersome. The problem, or the thing that makes him absolutely horrible to fight is the fact that you always fight him in the dirt. Uh, you never fight him on solid ground until you get to the um, Tower of Trials. In the Tower of Trials, he's uh, way more difficult as he gets a, uh, a super health increase uh, because you're fighting one star above what your current level is even though uh, it might be on max difficulty or otherwise. Okay, I just need to get over here and kill this thing because it's driving me nuts. 
but uh, these guys are absolutely uh, no joke if you are actually vulnerable to their attacks. But one of the best ways to get in and get damage on them is to get in close, get in underneath, and then just slash away because most of the time the attacks will go over your head and uh, he will miss you. So the best thing you can do, go for a lightning defense, go for a lightning defense veil, um, go for a crush weapon like the Argent Wolf Blade, and then just get in underneath him and go to town. Now you could go for a frost version as that will yield uh, more damage, less strikes, and it will put you in a much better position to play all his weaknesses. And if you really want to get to the point of making him very useless, uh, go for um, slow. And since he's also fairly weak to stun, you could do that as well. So let's see here. Uh, if we put all of his weaknesses to the test, uh, how fast can we take him out? And it goes fairly, fairly, fairly quick here, actually. Um, and uh, we'll head over here and get rid of this thing first. Yep, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, let's get rid of this thing. Okay, good. He's uh, attacking us now. Okay, and let's go to town. Ouch. Okay, and you can see the slow build up there is very, very good. Okay. Okay, and we're just uh, chunking away at his damage here. And uh, he's completely unable to really do anything against us because he can't attack us. Because we're invincible, he's slowed, so all his reaction times are increased significantly. And he's also weak to c crush and ice. So we're getting, you know, like a 22% increase in our damage just from the fact of this weapon being crushed and then from it having ice. So for free, we're getting that 22% increase, which is like having overdrive almost available to us at all times. So uh, really, 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 really uh, big, annoying, horrible boss or mini boss and enemy that you find throughout the game. However, he can be mitigated in several ways, and these are the ways to mitigate it. Uh, if you go in and attack him regularly, he does slash damage, and his little balls, they do pierce damage. So you, And then the Thunderbolt impact that he does does crush damage. So if you are going in for physical defense, uh, you want to make sure that you have you know 100 across the board here on slash, crush, and pierce, which you can't do on your own. And so you're kind of left to find other ways, which is why lightning defense is so strong against him because it completely is simple and easy and basic to get there and you can negate that immediately. So anyways, uh, that's all we're going to talk about him. Uh, just go for lightning defense and uh, get in there and do ice crush and slow him down or, or do inhibit as well. And uh, you can negate his actually let's go. Let's go see inhibit here real quick real quick and you'll notice that he won't do um his uh lightning balls or his uh thunderbolt impact that he has so he will only do his um sword attacks which can sometimes sort of maybe in a strange way help you but uh otherwise it's gonna be really really annoying okay okay good okay okay stupid uh, shooters are what make this fight uh, kind of difficult okay let's go okay two and you can see there we don't even have debuff build up or anything there we go and now he will uh, do things there with the eel and you can see that he won't uh, try and shoot me or anything from a, from across the way oh there he goes <laughs> of course he just had to get rid of his inhibit there at that moment that's nice and now we're waiting for a very long time for inhibit to come back because that's the only <laughs> that's the only way we can get it except if we do the argent wolf blade inhibit here um so we'll we'll try this again we'll look at his inhibit and then uh we'll head on out so very very uh big devastating amazing boss uh and enemy that is in vain here he is one of the uh major boys that is in the game here. You uh, absolute, he is absolutely a required enemy. You uh, come across him in some very, very uh, difficult areas. And um, 
it makes for a very very good uh, enemy oh whoops to en enemy that you come across to test yourself okay this guy is just um, okay just let me okay now he's not uh, now he's inhibited so he won't be able to do any of his lightning attacks but you can see here he's going for sword attacks okay let's get out of here and you can see that he's running after me now instead of actually going for um, actual attacks for his lightning stuff okay and he's uh, continuing to not go for his lightning attacks okay and because he's dead so you can see sort of that it does mitigate it um, but it's not really something that like you know even though he's super weak to it it's not really something that you really want to try for unless you want to go for something like uh, opportunism and get him inhibited very fast and then get this 25% increase to your damage for free basically all the time because you can inhibit him all the time so anyways thank you guys for watching I hope this uh, helped you uh, figure out this guy a little bit and mitigate everything that he has to offer basically in one fell swoop so no uh, no real worries for this guy uh, he's pretty simple once you understand him so anyways thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow